Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Go ahead. Take a screenshot of uh, whatever you see on your screen right now. You can do it a variety of ways, depending, of course, on your platform. Um, most operating systems have screenshot tools built in. You can download uh, different tools. We've made recommendations for online tools that you can use in the past. Heck, even if you're watching this video on your iPhone or iPod Touch, you can even take a live screen grab of that. I don't know if you knew this. Uh, you, you simply uh, hold on to the power button and then press the home button and the screen will flash and then an image of whatever was on your screen is saved into your pictures folder. It's kind of cool. If they call it a folder on here, I, I'm not, not really sure. Anyway, you can take a screen grab of just about anything, including a web page, a website that you don't even really need to load up inside your web browser, so long as you're using a URL before the URL that you are trying to capture in an image of sorts without using any software. So what do you do? Uh, you go up to your address bar, or whatever bar you use to enter in a, a URL, and you start it out with aviary.com, the word aviary, A-V-I-A-R-Y.com, slash, and then you enter in a URL. So I happen to be on uh, my live webpage, so it's chris.perillo.com slash live. So aviary.com slash chris.perillo.com slash live, and here I am watching, you know, whatever's happening. Hey, it's me. Looks a lot like me. Making myself gag here, not really. All right, so when I do this and hit enter or go or whatever, I'm going to zoom out again and show you. It says capturing page. What's happening right now is aviary.com is going out to the web on its own, grabbing what it sees on live.perilla.com and saving it as an image on its service. Okay, so why would you do this? Well, if you wanted to be able to go in there. Oh, look at this. It's, it's been captured. Okay, so now I've got tools, uh, the uh, ability to pan back and forth, draw an ellipse, a rectangle, a line, an arrow. I can paint. Uh, I can have an eyedropper. I can add text. I can crop, etc., etc. So let's say I wanted to draw attention to this face right here. There, there's an arrow. See, look. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm going to stretch it over here, point that face. See, I'm drawing the arrow there. See, see how I did that? It's kind of cool. So uh, I want to draw attention here at the ellipse. Let's draw, there we go. Ooh, I can make myself a target here. <laughs> okay, so now I've got the, 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 the image uh, done. I can go into an advanced editor, add image effects, etc. I've got the history to undo, the colors, the size uh, of the, the line that I was drawing. So I, it was set to 10. Uh, there's the outline, the shadow option. And then when I'm all done, I can save it out. I could resize it if I wanted to, but I can save it out. I can export it. Uh, I didn't need to install anything. It all happened on the web. You can do a screen capture of a web page with ease. All you need to do is just add aviary.com to any URL and it'll pull it in. And, and by the way, I can even scroll down that page. See how it captured an image of the entire site, of the entire page. Uh, and It's got a zoom control here at the bottom. It's, it's, this is a thumbnail of what live.perillo.com looks like. It's got the entire page. I can save it out as an image, the whole thing. It could be like... Long, super long, so long my arms won't even fit inside it. That's how long it can be. Aviary.com, of course, is, is more than just this. This happens to be a new tool that was recommended uh, by a community member, Bob. Not exactly sure how to say his last name, so I'm not going to. Uh, well, interestingly enough, Bob is the news and sports director of WSIN. No doubt a radio station that would never carry any content made by me. That being said, Bob, thank you so much for making this recommendation. I had no idea that uh, aviary.com did this. Aviary.com is, is really a, a useful website for image editing. This is a fantastic addition. And, you know, and just, just so you know, uh, if I were to have kids one day, maybe, you know, a boy and a girl or, you know, two boys, I would name one Bob and the other one Weave. My email address, chris at perillo.com. I was serious about that part. You are, of course, more than welcome to make recommendations to me, websites, services, software, whatever, anything related to anything I, I'm interested in taking a look at. You're also welcome to stop by our community at geeks.perillo.com. Become a registered member there. Over 20,000 of you now. And then we've also got this chat room as part of the live video feed going out over the web all the time. Even if I'm not here, people are. I mean, other people are. I mean, virtually they are here inside the video that you can embed and take wherever you want to take it. Even on your iPhone, there's an iPhone app that will allow you to watch, you know, what I do, the Ustream viewing app. It's 
free. So is the live video feed, free. So is this service, free. So am I this Friday evening, free. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.